Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more Common Rider Revice, you guys. Boy, we're really building up um, even more intricacies in the plot now, and I'm really here for it. I was uh, I was pretty excited after last episode. Um, I will briefly get into some of my lingering thoughts from that episode, but before that, I just want to say if you are joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much, and as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. And if you are joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much. Um, all right. So first things first, I'm really glad that we're getting um, some backstory for Hiromi. Um, I have been kind of wanting that for a while, although I do think it was important that we like built up the, the kids, the three kids first. Um, I, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on with the belt. I know there have been a lot of comparisons to like belt on the way that, um, the belt is like sentient seemingly. Um, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'd much prefer belt on in this case. This, this new belt does not seem friendly. Um, but yeah, uh, if I had to take a wild guess, I'd say the reason his body is rejecting the belt is because he's not one of the three kids or not in that family. But the fact that the belt seems to want to feed on his life makes me wonder if maybe it is something specific to this particular driver that like that's what it does when you're attached to it. It just feeds on your life, like no matter who you are. Um, but I'm sure they'll get more into that. Uh, we had a really great twist with... Um, you know, I don't know any of their names yet, but they kind of clued us in on this um, crew that Hiromi was a part of kind of all through training and everything up to now. And they had a really great uh, twist with kind of building up the the guy of the group as being like the real aggressive, like, I don't like you one and making it seem like he was like betraying. And then having it um, kind of twist and finding out that, oh, it was like a double, double cross. It was like a quadruple cross. Um, the female of their little crew who was supposed to be kind of like spying on Olteca's group and reporting back was actually a part of Olteca's group. Um, like for real. Um, so yeah, it was, it's really working for me. Um, I like the twists. I like, um, that we're getting like some fleshing out of the characters. I like that we're kind of getting more of like a mystery of like what is going on with this driver now. Like, um, I feel like we're kind of inching our way towards like a bigger, deeper plot about Gifu-sama. And, um, and we just have a lot. We have a lot on our plates. So we have a lot to deal with. So without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and we jump into the next episode? Let's do this. Yeah, he's going to do it. He's... This would be the point at which I would be throwing the belt and running away. But he really wants to help. Yeah. Thank you. Please don't, don't do not listen to the evil belt telling you to to give it your life. We're for real gonna do this. Okay, let's go. I wonder what I. I wonder if it's gonna work. It has to work, right? Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. If they come to the theme right now. I swear to God. Oh, crap. Yeah. See, that's the thing is I feel like when they're not doing it together, it's not as, it's not going to work. I, uh, so you know, guys, we still don't know Alteca's backstory. And I wonder if we're going to get a sad backstory for him as well. No! Don't tell me George is in on this. Is he in on the... Oh, man. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> like, oh, he's got his whole setup. Oh, no! No, no! Oh, my God. This is making my teeth hurt. How long ago was this filling, sir? Good? 
I hope that's not a Gifusama thing. I think it's just dad being uh, kind of a drama queen, but. Oh. He's like, done. Wow. Even though they had like their butting of heads, it's. We, okay. We've put that much together, I think, from the contacts. Yeah, I didn't I say like the first time they gave it to him, I'm like, God, this this is a very reckless test. Does it now? Yiki starts looking around, he's like, where is it? And here's that backstory we were hoping for. Oh wow, okay. He felt very isolated, I guess. Who formed the dead man's? If it was their dad, I'm going to lose my mind. Uh, wow. She, I even have my doubts even about her, though. Uh-oh. He's Tamaki now. Don't. No, I think even you know that that's not all there is to it anymore. But what is he? It's like, oh, this is worse than I thought. Of course she's going to say yes. Yeah, <laughs> like there was no... There's no doubt there. We all are Vice. Vice is all of us right now. I don't think he's... Whoa, yeah. It might be his last time doing it. And he knew. Or did he? Oh, crap. He, oh, God. I was really hoping. I was really hoping he wasn't malicious. So you tricked him into using something that was going to kill him. I can't even take joy in his silliness right now. He's. Okay, so he had heart. He's really a fanboy that just wants to put together the ultimate rider. I get that, but on the other hand, like, putting people in danger is not cool. <gasps> oh my god, he's a force ghost now! I'm gonna be really upset and with Iki coming up behind him. That's a really good shot. That's powerful. He would have done it anyway, you guys. Even if they told him. You know what? He gets it. He gets it. I think he was expecting him to try to talk him out of it. Please don't die! Wow. He said it's a direct approach. I still even have my doubts about her that she's like, what? Uh, please, somebody tell me what's okay. So George is definitely, he's definitely in on all the bad stuff. Dang it. I was kind of hoping. Can you clue us in on what's going on? I mean, if I had to guess just that they're trying to bring Gifa Sama. Oh, no. Dang it. He did the thing. Thing. He did the thing to her. Oh. You son of a gun. I guess we should have seen that coming. There was a. Wow. Now he has, now he has to kill his friend. That's messed up. And he's probably going to die doing it. That is super messed up. He doesn't have that much life left in him to feed off of, I don't think. Jeez, just willingly giving over his life. 
Daiji must not know that they don't know all the specifics. Okay. Why is she smirking? Don't tell... You know what? I just... Just be good already. Just be good already. Okay. Yeah, of, of course they were going to come out. Oh! Here comes the theme song! That's where they're dropping the theme song. All right. I said it before and I'll say it again. If you are a villain and the theme song drops, you know what to do. Just GTFO. <laughs> He's like, Julio doesn't exist anymore. She has her reasons, but for now, she's fighting with us, seemingly. Nice. Sweet. Thanks, guys. I guess we kind of sort of are working together, at least for now. Not saying we're besties or anything, but... I think this might be the only way to save her at this point. It's, to, it's, man, that, her soul, she can at least be at peace and not trapped inside of this thing. Is he gonna, he's for real gonna die doing this, isn't he? If he for real dies doing this, it's gonna be so sad. He's for real gonna die. Holy crap. They're for real gonna kill him off, aren't they? He's, he's like, oh, oh, God, he's going to do the thing where he, oh, no. He's like, I'm going to die anyway. I'll hold him and you get him. I don't care. Holy crap, we're doing this. Oh, my God. Oh, guys, he's, I think Hiromi's, whoa. We're doing this. He's like, oh, man. Oh, that's just like, oh, no, they definitely, they definitely got him too. Oh, that was, no, he's, guys. He's, he's, I think he's a goner. Is he a goner or are they just going to have him like not a rider anymore and like in super bad shape? Oh, he just felt it. Oh, crap. What's going on? Something just happened. But what happened though? When that happened, something happened to, he wanted this to happen. You jerk. Don't end the episode there. No, please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Nice. <gasps> That's what happened. Oh! That was smart. I thought for sure this was it for him. Oh my god. Oh crap. Is he gonna be alright? I'm still. I. And now they're remembering them both. Oh my god, he's alright. I'm so glad. So sad I had to end this way for both of them. Oh my god, I'm so hungry right now. That looks amazing. Oh, he's like, I got your back, friend. Come eat with us. I love you. And I really love curry. Huh? I always thought that was his actual mouth. That's not his actual mouth. What does his actual mouth look like? They're not going to show us he's going full horror movie. Ew, I want to see, but I don't want to see. He's like, hey, sup, everyone. Oh, dang it, guys. Well, where do I even begin? Dang it. I really thought, I, honestly, there was like a couple minutes there where I thought like, this is it. They're going to kill him off. Because we're getting to that point in the series where I feel like if they were going to pull like a big dramatic kind of like mid-season death thing, it would probably be now. Um, but I'm glad he made it. And we're all on the same page. It feels like, it feels like this really grew him into being more part of the group. He felt very separate before, and I wanted to know more about him, but he was just kind of like over there, you know what I mean? Now I feel like he's in this with us. And I think, you know, bringing his old crew into the mix with our new main crew and kind of like merging those stories a little bit and having to work with them more to kind of like put an end to what was going on there. Um... Also, like, the talk with Iki. I just, I love Iki's stance here because it's so, 
it's so not, I feel like, what you would predict, you know, in a shonen, in a toku, I feel like you would, I feel like you would see them be like, how dare you, don't you know your life is, is valuable, and blah, 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 and it's like, that's cool, and all that is true, but I also think it was really fun to just kind of turn that around and have Iki be like, look, I get it, this is important to you, and I'm not going to stand in your way, but just because he didn't stand in his way, didn't mean he wasn't going to, like, look out for him, too. And I love that. That shows, like, such a... It does show big growth and, like, um, a lot of understanding and patience on Iki's part. I really, really like that, you know? It doesn't... On paper, it doesn't sound like it'd be good that, like, he's letting him do something deadly. But I don't know. It just... Did it not, like, kind of work compared to what you would normally expect? I just think it really did. It's my opinion. Um... So, oh, yeah, we also had a little bit on Oteka's backstory, and it was, to me, it felt kind of least tragic of the ones we've seen so far. That doesn't mean that experience was not specifically painful for him, though. I'm not trying to, like, diminish um, the pain, but it did seem like it was um, a little bit more of, like, a power hunger thing. Like, compared to... I mean, it was power hunger for the other two as well. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm explaining it right. But something about it felt a little bit different. Um, but it was interesting to see. So he was, like, very, very smart. But very, very isolated. Um, I don't know if we know the person in the hood who approached him. Who was, like... I don't know if we do. I couldn't exactly tell by, like, the voice or anything like that. Um, it's possible it's just not supposed to be anyone or anything, and I'm just reading too much into it, but I wouldn't be surprised if it came back around. Um, so Gifu was, like, a god character, which we kind of knew, but I have a feeling there's more to it than that as well. Something happened when Olteca was... When the driver was knocked off and he was, like, dehensioned, something happened that, like, fed more into Gifu-sama, and it freaked... Um, vice right out. So I don't know what is going on there, but something definitely happened. Um, Alteca, I think, had this in mind because he looked pretty satisfied when that happened. Um, their friend Chigusa, Chigusa, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, that sucks. I have expected her to like be like, ha ha, I was really double, double, double crossing. <laughs> when she was like asking about Olteca's plan and everything, I'm like, what are the odds? But no, she had like really just been totally disillusioned by whatever it is that Phoenix is doing, which I'm guessing the big dark secret is that Phoenix is, you know, trying to bring Gifa, so like they're on Gifa Sama's side. But it is kind of interesting that, like, okay, so you find out that they're trying to bring back Gifasama, and so is, like, Olteca. So, why go join up with him? <laughs> I don't know. Or is he? Is he trying to... I mean, he is, right? That's still kind of the goal, right? Is to... Or, I, you know what? I'm not sure of the reasoning on her part, but, like, it does seem kind of interesting to me that, um, you know, you just kind of, like, go from the frying pan to the fire, but I guess she just felt so betrayed by Phoenix. Who could blame her? Um, but I, I, I was really disappointed to see that, like, George seems to be pretty much in on all of this. Like, at the very least, he willingly knew. He willingly gave that driver, like, knowing it would, like, kill Hiromi eventually if he kept using it. Why not just tell him? If you knew he was so determined, he probably would have taken five minutes and been like, okay, cool, I'm on board. Like, I don't know. I guess they thought it would be too much of a risk that he'd say no. Um, but I don't think they had to worry about that with him. It's just, like, the tricking him just really. So, and I gotta say, like, seeing... So we saw George with the director looking right at the Gifu heart thing. Like, I is it safe to say that he's totally in on it now? Because I'd love to ha hold out any last shred of hope that, like, maybe he's not in on it, in on it. I don't know. I just liked him so much. It makes me sad to think that he's going to be, like, a bad guy. Um, wow. All right, guys. So, Hiromi, I think is seems like is out of the rider game now until at least we get this whole demon thing 
I mean, the belt is a demon, so I don't know what we could possibly do to, like, sort it out. We kind of got around that with Iki and the rest of the, the kids, but... May, I don't know, maybe we'll, maybe he'll like find himself and it'll be like, it'll work for him. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I would love it if he didn't stop being a rider, but I feel like this is kind of like end of the line for him for now. Um, now that he's kind of like carried out what he wants to carry out, but um, I'm glad he's alive. I really thought for sure he was a goner there. I was, I was like, I could definitely see them doing that at least for now and then maybe like bring him back later so i was glad that he made it thanks to iki iki was mvp here um oh and seeing all the forms is really fun as well there's a lot of great stuff here um it was a good conclusion to this kind of like part of the arc um and so now we're going to deal with the deeper darker secret behind phoenix Ultaka is captured although what does that even mean if they're all kind of like on the same side which they seem to be um we still haven't dealt with, like, the most we saw of the dad was, like, his cavity. <laughs> and dad's cavity is fine, which, if it weren't for the Gifu heart thing, I'd be like, oh, it's just dad being, being silly. But now I'm like, maybe because he has healing capabilities from Gifu-sama, perhaps. <laughs> now I'm just being, like, totally paranoid. So, um, all right, guys, we certainly have a really just big, uh, plot kind of set up here and I'm excited to see um what's going to come next and everything it definitely feels like stakes are high you know um so and I guess Tamaki and Aguilera are kind they're not on our side but they're not not on our side you know what I mean so like that's cool that's a cool spot to have them in so um, all right, guys, that was great. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.